Hello again, uh, my name is Tori. I'm the yoga instructor for Texas A&M Central Texas. And um, let's try our next practice of socially distanced yoga mindfulness. Um, so today, let's have a strap available. I've got a yoga strap here, but you're more than welcome to use a belt, um, a towel, any other article of clothing, um, as long as it's a little light and loose. <clears throat> and we'll revisit that in a moment, so no worries. Um, for this practice, though, we're going to start like we always do in our early meditation, trying to step into our beginner mindset. So let's root the hips down strong beneath us. Let's stack up the mind, uh, spine, tall and proud. Roll the shoulders down and back. Relax the face. Relax the eyes, the jaw. And just breathe for a few moments. Okay. We're stepping into our beginner mindset without judgment, without expectation, and without the need to change anything at all. All right, now that we're here, let's blink the eyes open, welcome in the light that we have today. Let's start with a great sweeping breath. So we'll inhale, sweep the palms wide and tall. Exhale, release the palms heavy to the earth beside us. Inhale, wide and tall. Exhale, release. And last time, we're going to sweep wide and tall. Let's lace the fingers over the midline of the body. Turn the heel of the palm up to the sky. Lean a little bit to one side. Take a breath. Lean a little bit to the other side. Take a big breath. Okay, back and forth, side to side, one more time. Awesome. Come back into your neutral spine. Go ahead and release the palms way out wide. Shake out the arms, the shoulders if you need to. And this is where we're going to take our strap in hand. So like I mentioned before, we're going to have any article of clothing that helps us out here. Belt, strap, um, towel. It doesn't even have to be a long stretch of fabric. That's okay. All right. So for our belt and our strap, we're going to take that buckle in our right hand. Everybody else, whatever side of the fabric that you choose in that right hand. Okay, so the rest of it is loose and free. We're going to start with fingertips way out wide on the mat, just barely touching the edges of the mat. We're going to use this right hand with our belt. We're going to inhale and sweep wide and tall. And our palm is going to face the front of the room, just like our heart. So let's fold at the elbow, setting the palm to the back of the neck or back of the shoulder. And then we're going to turn this left palm to the back of the room. So when we're ready, we'll bend that left elbow and we'll grab onto the lower part of the strap. Now this is where I'm going to turn around real quick just to show you what it looks like. And we're in our cow face arms posture. So you can walk that left palm up or you can leave it low. Right elbow rises, left elbow drops, rebuild the spine, lift the face. And I'm going to turn around again. Okay, cow face arms. Keeping the face tall and proud. One more great breath. Awesome. When you're ready, release that left palm low. Let's go ahead and careful release that right palm. <clears throat> shake out the arm, shake out the shoulders if you need to. <laughs> okay. And let's try that cow face on the opposite side. So let's take the uh, heavy buckle in our left hand now. Fingertips way out wide beside us. We're going to inhale, sweep the left palm wide and tall. Palm is facing the front of the room, just like the heart. We're going to bend in the elbow, setting the palm to the back of the neck or back of the shoulder. And then we're going to turn the right palm to the back of the room, bend the right elbow, and grab onto that strap, towel, um, belt, whatever you imagine. Okay. So let's walk the hands close together or choose to leave them far apart. Either way, left elbow rises, right elbow drops, rebuild the spine tall, keep the face closer to neutral if you can, and just breathe. Take a few breaths here. <clears throat> All right, when you feel ready, let's release that right hand low first. Let's go ahead and release the left hand, and we're going to kick our strap out of the way for now. So just like last time, we can shake it out. 
and get a little loosey-goosey. But let's start in our downward facing dog today. So this is where it gets interesting. Let's go ahead, set the palms about shoulder width apart. Remind yourself to spread the fingertips out super duper wide, starfish hands, knees beneath the hips, palms beneath the shoulders. We're gonna tuck the toes under behind us and then push the hips up to the sky and push the heart back towards the knees. Soft or strong knees is totally up to you, but push the heart back. Great breath in the body, big stretch in the back of the legs. Take a few moments to walk the dog out. Pedal out the knees and heels. Okay, stretching one leg strong at a time. Let's lift up to our tippy toes for a moment and then drop our heels heavy behind us. Okay, let's go ahead and drop our knees back down to the mat for tabletop. And then let's try our puppy pose. So we're gonna untuck our toes behind us. And much like when we push our heart through for our downward facing dog, we're gonna do that here. But first, we're gonna walk the hands way out long in front of us. And then we're gonna push our heart down towards the ground. So the hips are gonna remain tall behind us. Forehead and heart become heavy. Take a big breath in the body. All right. When you're ready, let's rise back up to our tabletop. Set our hands beneath our shoulders. Leave the knees beneath the hips. Great breath. All right, from our tabletop, let's go ahead and tuck the toes back under, sweep the hips up and back, push the heart towards the back of the room, pedal out again, downward facing dog. Okay, let's see if we can go ahead and sweep our right leg high behind us, three-legged dog, and then exhale, step our right foot forward and through, and make sure you line up the right knee safe over the right ankle. We're gonna tuck the left knee under behind us. We're gonna untuck our left toe. And then we're going to rise up to balance. So whew, we're going to have a strong thigh in front of us. And we're going to have an angle in our thigh beneath us. So we're not directly right up over that back knee. We're leaning into the hip a little bit. Okay, sweep the palms wide and tall overhead. And let's exhale. And let's take our right hand down to the top of our right thigh. And let our left hand open up across the midline of the body a little bit here. We're not reaching super far. We're not going to throw ourselves off balance. We're just going to open up from the hip to the shoulder. The great breath. And then we're going to sweep both hands overhead. Exhale, forward fold. Okay. When palms meet the mat before us, let's tuck the back toe under, lift the back knee off of the mat, and then we're going to take a twist. So let's set our right hand on top of our right thigh. Open up our right shoulder taller than our left and maybe sweep our right hand way up tall in the sky. Great breath in the body. Hold your balance. You got it. Exhale. Right palm comes to the mat. Right foot meets the left foot. Hips to the sky. Heart to the knees. Pedal out. Okay, we're going to try that on our opposite side. Sweep the left leg high behind us. Exhale. Step the left foot forward and through. Knee safe over the ankle. Drop the right knee. Untuck the right toe. And then rise up. And challenge yourself here in this balance. Remember, we don't want to be directly up over the back knee. We want it at an angle, so we're feeling a stretch in the front of the thigh. Okay, like last time, sweep the palms wide and tall. Okay, let's drop our left hand on top of our left thigh and let our right hand lean across the midline of the body a little bit. Big breath in the body. Remember, we're not going far. We're not trying to throw off our balance or anything. We're just trying to open up from the hip to the shoulder. Ah, great breath. Okay. When you feel ready, let's come back into neutral. Both palms tall overhead. Exhale, forward fold. Palms meet the mat. Let's tuck the back toe under. Lift the right knee off of the mat. Step the left hand on top of the left thigh. Left shoulder over the right shoulder. And then option to sweep the left palm up to the sky as well. And just hold your balance. Hang in there. Big breath in the body. <sighs> awesome. When you're ready, both palms come to the mat. Left foot meets the right foot, hips to the sky. Pedal out, downward facing dog. Let's try that puppy pose again. Knees to the mat. Stretch the hands way out. Drop the heart. Big breath. 
Okay, from puppy pose, let's leave our hands glued in the mat and let's pull the heart forward and lower the whole body down towards the ground. Okay, so we're gonna untuck the toes. We're gonna set the hands beneath our shoulders. Keep the elbows tucked in close. Let's inhale, peel up the heart a little bit. Baby Cobra, no hands, all back strength. Exhale to release. Let's try it out with our legs. Glue the legs together, point the toe. Inhale, peel up the toe, the ankle, maybe the knee. Hold strong in the back of the legs. Exhale to release. Okay, let's try both at the same time. Walk the hands back to the hips. And when we're ready, we're gonna lift the heart and the legs. So we're gonna inhale, peel up the chest, Shoulders, toes, heels, maybe knees. Maybe the hands beside us rise up. Great breath, strong core muscles. Okay, when you're ready, let's release the palms beneath the shoulders, the feet way out long at the end of the mat. And we're gonna try a little bit of an upper back challenge here. So I know that we're opening up the chest. Might as well challenge it while we're here. Let's set the hands out like goalpost arms so that the elbows come out to like a T-shape from the shoulders and then the palms kind of frame the face or the top edge of the mat. Okay, so just like our baby cobra, we're gonna be lifting our chest, but we're also gonna be lifting our hands this time and that's what's gonna make it hard. We're gonna lift and then we're gonna reach a little bit. Okay, so let's keep our gaze forward. Legs are glued together, tops of the feet are flat, hips are rooted into the mat. When you're ready, inhale, peel up the heart, the chest, the hands, reach, exhale, fold the elbows, and release. Okay, let's see how we feel about it. Sorry about the cat. Okay, so we're gonna inhale, lift, and reach. Exhale, fold, and release. Whew. Inhale, lift, and reach. Exhale, fold, and release. Woo, let's try this two more times. Woo, all right, one more. Oh, palms up beneath the shoulders. Let's go ahead and find our way into a child's pose. So we'll rise to tabletop first, hands and knees, make sure you're in the comfortable place, and then fold back, bring the hips to the heels, drop the heart to the knees, Option to reach the hands way out, but if your arms are tired from that already, sweep the hands back. Awesome. Get really loosey-goosey in the shoulder blades, in the chest, in the arms. One more breath to, just to help us catch our breath. Awesome. Let's set the hands beneath the shoulders. Let's rise into tabletop, resetting hands and knees again. We'll make our way to downward facing dog. Tuck the toes under, hips up and back. Okay. When you're ready, let's go ahead and walk the feet up towards our hands for a normal forward fold. Soft knees, and we'll try to keep the back straight as we can. Okay. Strong back. Drop the crown of the head heavy. Wrap the arms around the legs if it helps. Take a big breath. <sighs> okay, let's go ahead and release the arms heavy, rise up to the top of the shin bone, not the kneecap, half lift, exhale to hang heavy again. Okay, we're going to make our way all the way into mountain again, so let's rise up and climb into our tall place, roll the shoulders back at the top, kick it out, loosey-goosey if we need to, okay. Now we're gonna try adding a little something interesting to our forward folds here. So we're gonna try to open up the back of the legs for a moment. So it's gonna be a little tense and we're just gonna work our way through whatever space is uh, welcoming us. So I would recommend having props nearby you, like maybe a chair, I've got a couch right here, but maybe you can have a dining room chair or a small table or something that's stable enough that you can lean onto it for a little bit, okay? Maybe. Some of us will not need extra help, but if we need it, excellent props are ones that don't, don't move easily. So, let's go ahead and root the feet into the mat beneath us, nice and strong. Rock the body weight back into the heels and forward into the toes. Soften the knees a little bit. Build up the spine, open the heart space. We have mountain, Tadasana, unbent, unbroken. All right, with our next breath, sweep the palms wide and tall overhead. 
and we're moving into a forward fold. So let's take our next exhale and begin to lean forward. We're going to find our prop before us, softening the knees as we go. Let's keep the spine strong as we can. Now my couch is a little bit taller, but if you can get a little bit lower, that's okay too. Take a great breath, drop the heart heavy, soften it, okay? Inhale, let's hinge our way up into mountain, slow and easy. Okay, so we found our baseline, our normal uh, forward fold, how it feels there with the help of a prop. Now, <clears throat> let's shift our body weight to our left side, buckle up our right knee, and let's swing that right foot around the outside of our left foot. So we don't have to bring the heels super close together because we want flat feet to keep us stable. So maybe the outside of our right heel comes close to our left pinky toe. Okay, that's an option. And we're gonna shift the body weight onto that left side so we're not quite lined up with our prop like we were a moment ago. That's okay. Now we're doing another forward fold. So soften both knees. I know those knees want to lock out and hold steady, but soften those knees. Sweep the palms wide and tall. Exhale, forward fold, sending the heart forward from the hips. Hands can catch on to our prop or not, okay? Knees have to both cooperate here. We need both knees to be soft, okay? Great breath in the body. in there one more breath okay with our crossed ankles let's be really careful climbing up to the top of our shin bone over the thigh or over our prop finding our standing place again and then let's uncross our ankles shake it out a little bit now our left leg was our dominant standing leg this time so let's leave it that way and take our right foot back a walking step maybe one or two foot steps back Soften a bend in that left knee before us. Sweep the palms tall. And then let's exhale, swing the hands way behind our back. Lace our fingers. And let's push the palms towards the room behind us. So option to leave the elbows soft or strong. But we've got a bend in the front knee and we've got a long leg straight behind us. So let's build up the spine. Let's push the heart forward. And let's pause where we can. Okay, so we've got humble warrior here. Looking down to the space on our mat before our big toe. Big breath in the body. From our humble warrior, let's begin to rise back up. Strong leg. Okay. When we find our place back in standing, shake out the arms. Take a step forward. And we're going to try our cross ankle forward fold on our right side. So get a little loosey-goosey. When you're ready, shift your body weight over to your right side this time. Buckle up the left knee. Let's see if we can swing that left foot around the outside of our right foot so that the outside of that left ankle is close to the um, right pinky toe. Okay. So again, soften those knees. Let, it go, let go of some of that tension. Build up the spine. Sweep the palms overhead. Let's exhale. Push the heart forward. Find our forward fold. Hands can catch our prop or not, okay? We'll try to keep the spine straight as we can here, but there's a lot going on with hamstrings and back muscles. We'll just be patient with what happens. Ooh, we'll be patient with what happens here, okay? Cross ankle, forward fold. Now we're barely feeling any body weight in that uh, uh, left ankle. We're feeling all of our balance in that right leg. Strong breath. All right, when you feel ready, let's carefully rise back up. Let's climb to the top of the shin bone, to the top of the, top of the thigh. Find our way to standing, roll the shoulders back, unwind the ankles, shake it out. All right, we're gonna try that uh, humble warrior again. So we'll settle the body weight into the feet beneath us. Let's take our left leg back, our walking step, one or two foot steps behind the front leg. Soften a bend in the front knee, line it up with that ankle, sweep the palms tall. And let's exhale, swing the palms way behind our back, lace our fingers while we're there. Push the arms strong, either leaving the elbows a little bit soft or really pushing the palms to the back of the room. 
Either way, the spine rises up, push the heart forward from the hips, take a bow, hang in there. We've got humble warrior with a strong spine. Looking down to the mat um, at that space right in front of our big toe. Okay, one more great big breath. When you're ready, let's rise back up nice and tall. Rock out the shoulders, shake out the arms a little bit. Take a step forward. We've got normal forward fold. Rock the body weight forward into the toes, back into the heels. Okay. From our mountain, let's sweep the palms wide and tall overhead. Let's take a little back bend here. So remember, we lift with the heart. We relax the shoulders, but we lift with the heart. And maybe we lean a little bit back. Okay, we find a neutral place, and then let's exhale, forward fold. Okay, from forward fold, let's lift the heart up halfway. Exhale to release again. When palms meet the mat, let's take the left leg a long step back. Okay, let's try to have the heel lifted behind us for a moment, because we're going to challenge our balance. Rise up nice and tall. Warrior one, palms overhead. Great breath. All you need is a great breath here. Okay, we're going to challenge our abdominals for just a moment. So let's lean the heart forward like someone is trying to hand us something. Awesome. Let's exhale forward fold. Right foot goes back to meet the left foot. Let's push the hips up and back, downward facing dog. And then let's try our chaturanga. So let's bring the heart forward for our high plank, our push up. Let's exhale, push forward on the toes, squeeze the elbows to release. Okay, tuck the elbows in close, tops of the feet are flat, peel the heart up a little bit. Exhale to release. All right, let's rise into our tabletop. And let's fold back into our child's pose. We'll drop the heels heavy behind us. Maybe we'll stretch the arms out. Maybe we'll rest the arms. Totally up to you. Three great breaths here. Full inhale. And full exhale. Okay. Well, let's try the reverse of that, um, that vinyasa that we just did. So let's go ahead and stretch the hands way out long before us. Rise into downward facing dog. Okay, let's try that vinyasa or the chaturanga. So we'll bring the heart forward. Exhale to release. Inhale, peel the heart up. Exhale. Okay, we're going to tuck the toes under, find downward facing dog. Okay, let's go ahead and swing the left leg high behind us and step the left leg forward and through. Knee safe over the ankle. Okay, it doesn't matter how many steps it takes. Let's go ahead and try to keep the back heel lifted and rise up for our balance. Woo. Palms to the sky. Great breath. No judgment, no expectation, but let's lean the heart forward like someone is trying to hand us something important. Big breath. Okay, palms meet the ground. Left foot meets the right foot, hips to the sky, down dog. And let's try to challenge that balance a little bit. So let's sweep the right leg high behind us. Exhale, step the right foot forward and through. Now this time I'm going to give you the option to leave the heel lifted like last time or to step the back foot forward so that the whole foot is flat for greater stability. Totally up to you. We're going to rise up to that same warrior one. Okay. I'm going to reach the palms tall overhead. Great breath. Okay, now we're going to challenge that balance. So let's bring the hands down to prayer or uh, hands at heart center. So the thumbs line right up with our chest plate here. Okay. We're going to lean the heart forward over the front knee and we're going to twist to our right side. So we're going to cross our right knee in front of us. Open up our heart to our right side of the room. Take a great breath. Okay, this is the hard part today. I want you to imagine keeping all that stability and strength in the front leg and kick the left leg forward to meet the right and then sit down into your chair. 
Remember the body weight stays back in the heels. We don't want to come up over the knees. We're way back here. Great breath in the body. Okay, let's rise into mountain. Let's unwind, stand tall, shake it out. Ooh, strong legs today. I promise we'll go back to opening up the chest and the back. But for a moment, let's try one more standing balance, okay? Settle the body weight forward into the toes, back into the heels, soften the knees beneath us. All right, when you're ready, let's start in our chair. Let's sweep the palms wide and tall. Exhale, soften a bend into the knees, push the hips back, chair pose. Bring thumbs to heart center, okay? Let's twist to our left side of the room, crossing our left knee. We don't have to move that far, but we're still keeping our body weight back into the heels, okay? Now, let's see if we can kick our right leg. So we're gonna shift our body weight over to our left side and try to kick our left leg way back there for the lunge. Knee is safe over the front ankle. Back leg long and strong, heel either planted or lifted. You're the boss, okay? All right, let's make our way to neutral, build up the spine, sweep the palms tall overhead, great breath. When you're ready, let's forward fold, palms meet the mat. Left foot goes back to meet the right foot, hips to the sky, downward facing dog, pedal it out. Lift up to the tiptoes, and drop the heels heavy. And let's pull the knees down to the mat and try puppy pose again. So we'll untuck the toes behind us. We'll walk the hands way out long before us. We'll drop the heart. We'll drop the forehead. And we'll breathe. Awesome. Build up to tabletop. So reset the hands beneath the shoulders. Spread the fingertips out wide. And let's try cat and cow pose here. So we're going to inhale, drop the belly button heavy, look forward. Exhale, sweep the belly up and look back. And move with your own cycle of breath. Inhale and exhale at your own pace. Okay, let's try one more cycle of breath, cat and cow. No hurry. Awesome, come into your neutral spine. All right, from our tabletop, let's go ahead and find our way back into downward facing dog. So you're gonna tuck the toes under, lift the hips to the sky, push the heart back towards the knees, pedal out the knees maybe, maybe lift up to the tiptoes, maybe drop the heels heavy, and then let's walk the feet forward to meet our hands again. So we've got our normal forward fold. We're gonna hang the heart heavy, maybe even hug the legs, maybe shake the head yes, maybe no. Let's drop the palms heavy towards the ground. Let's rise up into our half lift. Exhale, hang heavy again. Okay, from this forward fold, let's walk the hands back. Uh, sorry, let's walk the feet back for a downward facing dog, but this time we're gonna keep a short stance down dog. So it's gonna feel really weird and abnormal. Really soften the knees, really push the heart back. Now I know it feels really compact here, so let's set the feet way out wide towards the edges of the mat, okay? We're gonna create great twists here. So, hang on, let me tuck in my shirt, okay. All right, so let's go ahead and lift our right hand off of the mat and reach under our body towards our left leg, maybe, or towards our left side of the mat. And let's pull the right shoulder underneath the left shoulder and look up towards the sky behind us. Soft knees really help with this down dog twist. Big breath in the body. Lots of patience. All right, let's unwind and try that on the opposite side. So let's set the right hand back to the mat, maybe shoulder width apart, okay? Left hand comes off of the mat and then we'll cross under towards our right leg or right side of the mat. And we'll twist. Looking up to the sky, soft knees are our savior here, okay? <clears throat> From this down dog twist, let's set both hands in the mat, hip, uh, shoulder width apart. Feet hip distance, and we'll release the feet out a little bit so the legs feel a little more normal and down dog, okay? 
Now let's try our chaturanga, bring our heart forward. Let's release down towards the ground. Tops of the feet are flat, elbows tucked in close. Let's peel up the heart alone for a moment. <clears throat> Baby cobra. Exhale to release, zip the legs together, point the toe. Let's try lifting just the legs again. So just toes, ankles, maybe knees. And release. Let's try both lifting the heart and the legs at the same time. So we'll peel up the chest, the shoulders, the toes, the ankles. Maybe even the hands can reach back or rise up. Hold strong, lots of core muscles here. Right, when you're ready, let's release heavy towards the ground so that feet, arms, and face can rest. <laughs> yeah, they are, gets the idea. Now, we're going to try and create a great big twist here, so it's going to be interesting for a moment. Let's go ahead and sweep our hands way out wide like a letter T. So the hands are going to come way out wide beside us. All right, now let's start by bringing our left palm up beneath our left shoulder. Hang on, let me adjust a little bit. Okay. Anyway, left hand up beneath our left shoulder. Okay. Point the left toe up to the sky. Here we go. We're going to roll onto our right side. So let's push off of the mat on our left. Make sure our right shoulder feels stable beneath us. Okay, try to let the head rest if you can. This is where a towel or a um, a uh, pillow might be helpful here, okay? So we're stacking our left shoulder and our left hip directly over our right shoulder and our right hip. This is not meant to be comfortable, so breathe with me, okay? We're gonna point the um, left knee up to the sky. The left knee points up to the sky, the left toe points down to the earth behind us on our right side. Sorry, I think I said that wrong. Left shoulder and left hip directly over our right side. And then the right leg is long towards the end of the mat. Okay, the right hand behind us is flat down to the earth. We do have another option here to create a whole chest opener. If we want to turn, um, if we want to turn that right palm behind us face up to the sky, we'll be turning that thumb towards the back of the room. Okay. And then maybe we can reach the left hand tall overhead. Maybe we can start to turn the left palm to the back of the room. And then we can try to fold the arms together behind us. I personally cannot reach to where I can lace my fingers, and that's okay. I'm not expecting you to either, but if you can, very cool. Okay, breathe. We're going to try this twist on the opposite side, so I'm going to try... <laughs> I'm going to face away from the camera so you guys can see what's going on behind the body. Okay, so let's get back to neutral. Let's bring that left palm to the mat to help us balance our way. Back to even with our hips, with our shoulders. Palms way out wide. Okay. This time we're going to be turning the opposite cheek to the mat. So this is going to be super weird because I'm going to be facing away from you guys for a while. But it's with the intention of you being able to see what's happening behind the back. All right, so anyway, let's go ahead and start this time with our left palm. We know it's going to be behind our back. Let's go ahead and try starting with the palm face up to the sky. So the thumb turns to the back of the room, palm is face up, shoulders are planted in the ground. And when you're ready, I'm going to turn my cheek to our right side of the room. <clears throat> right palm will walk up beneath the right shoulder, point the right toe to the sky. And when you're ready, we're rolling back onto our left hip and our left shoulder. So the right hip and the right shoulder stack right up above the left side. Le uh, left leg stays long to the end of the mat. Right leg comes back with us so that the right knee points up to the sky. Right toe brings down to the earth. Okay. Option here to swing that right palm way up into the sky. Turn the palm to your new back of the room. And then try to fold the palms together. Now, if you can't get far, you're not alone. Just breathe and don't try to force anything. Again, as always, it's not about being perfect. It's not about looking graceful. It's just about kind of exploring where you feel comfortable. Okay. 
Let's try to take three more great breaths. And when you feel ready, let's bring that right palm back to the right side of the mat. Let's level the hips and shoulders nice and even. Spread the palms way out wide. Turn whichever cheek you prefer to the mat. Take a great breath. Followed by another one. All right, let's make our way into our child's pose. Set the hands beneath the shoulders. Peel the body up off of the mat to tabletop, hands and knees. When you're ready, let's fold back for our child's pose. Maybe we stretch the arms out, maybe we rest. Okay, three great breaths here. <clears throat> All right. Let's go ahead and rise into our tabletop, resetting the hands and knees. We're going to come down into a seated posture. So let's go ahead and bring the hips down to the ground. And let's set the feet in butterfly before us. So we're going to set the soles of the feet together. The knees are going to fall apart into our diamond shape. We're going to stack up the spine. Hang on, root the hips strong and then stack up the spine from there. Okay. We're going to push the heart towards the front of the room. On the next exhale, let's send the heart forward. And remember, it's not about getting as flat to the ground as possible. It's more about keeping the spine straight and using that hinging motion from the hips. Okay, so great breath. All right, I promised we were gonna start doing upper back and shoulders again. So let's rise back up. Let's set the legs in a comfortable seated posture. So I'm gonna fold up so that I feel more balanced, but if other people are more comfortable with legs out long or staying in butterfly, so be it. I'm not the boss of you, okay? So let's go ahead and sweep the palms wide and tall, and let's try our eagle arms today. We relax the shoulders. We're going to fold the elbows down to about 90 degrees in front of our shoulders. We're going to bring the palms and elbows close together. Option to get more twisty or to just stay here. If you're going for the twistier option, twistier business, we can bring the right elbow above and cross on the inside of the left. You can try to bring the backs of the palms together or even drop the right hand down and try to swoop the faces of the palms together. Okay, now the hard part in eagle arms is that the elbows want to drop down and then we're just hanging out. You want to bring those elbows back up to shoulder height and hold strong. Big breath in the body. I know the chest is heavy right now, so take the breath to the belly button if you can. Great breath, you've got it. All right, with the next exhale, let's gently unwind from step three, step two, step one, and then swing the hands way back behind us. Lace the fingers behind the midline of the body. Option to push the arms strong or leave the elbows soft. Lift the face to the sky, really push the chin up. And then exhale, drop the head to neutral, drop the arms heavy, shake it out. Whew. All right, let's try the opposite side, eagle arms. So sweep the palms wide and tall, inhale. Exhale, fold at the elbow. Bring the palms and elbows together. Great breath in the body, and we'll decide if we want to be twisty or not twisty. Either way, we have the option to lift the left elbow, to cross over, to press the backs of the palms together, or press the faces of the palms together. Okay, either way, lift those elbows to shoulder height. Don't drop down. Lift them to shoulder height and breathe. Full belly breath if you can do it. Best effort. All right, one more breath. And let's start to unwind step by step. We'll sweep the palms way behind us, lace the fingers. 
Optional strong arms or soft elbows. Great breath, lift the chin to the sky. And when you're ready, drop the arms heavy, drop the face to neutral. Awesome, shake it out. All right, now let's roll through some of the neck muscles before we move into our relaxation today. So we're gonna tuck the chin down into the chest, exaggerate a stretch running down the back of the neck, and just gently start to rock side to side. No fast movement, no big movement. Just a little bit moving slow, okay? The next time we would come over to our left shoulder, let's lift the face to the sky, come around to the right, and back to the chest. One more time, great big circle, left to right. I'm not mirroring you guys today, I'm just doing what I do. Okay, we'll pause at neutral, and then let's reverse our circle, go back to our right shoulder, lift our face to the sky, come around back to the chest and one more time right to left all right then let's lift our face back into neutral shake it out last time and let's start to roll back on our mat so that we can come into a restful place so as always any props that you're comfortable with towels blankets um, pillows can be helpful in restfulness but even without we can still roll the spine back we can relax the shoulders down away from the ears and choose to just stretch out the neck. Okay, let's go ahead and bring both knees up over the chest, wrap the arms strong around the legs, rock and roll for a moment, just a moment, nothing big. Okay. Come back to neutral. Let's go ahead and release both feet flat to the ground, palms way out wide, and let's turn both knees to our left side and let the knees roll until they rest so that the hips, the knees, and the belly button are taking a twist, but the uh, upper chest and the heart is still face up towards the sky. Great breath. Okay. With our inhale, let's stand the knees to the sky. And then exhale, drop the knees off to our right side. Go ahead and roll and drop. All right, knees, hips, and belly button now taking a twist. Heart is neutral to the sky, upper chest neutral to the sky. Let's go ahead and use our inhale, stand those knees to the sky. Let's try one more butterfly posture today. So the feet are gonna stay right up next to each other, but the knees are gonna fall away into our diamond shape. And we can stretch those heels way out long away from us, or we can keep them up close, it's up to you. But our hands can come down to rest on top of the thigh to help us way down that, that hip stretch a little bit if we need help. Now let's take three great breaths here. Okay. With our next breath, let's go ahead and stand those knees to the sky. And let's walk the feet out to the very edges of the mat. So wide, wider than hip distance, way wider. And then lean the knees against each other in the middle. And let the body remain. Okay, so the knees don't need any more muscular effort here. They're just propped up against each other. And we're breathing in broken bridge pose. <laughs> Three more great breaths. Now you're welcome to stay here as long as you like. You can go back to butterfly or you can go back into just a traditional reclined posture with legs way out long. Um, we're moving into our final relaxation for our practice today. Um, so find any position that is comfortable for you, even if it's rolling, 
onto your favorite side. You don't always have to stay flat on the mat <clears throat> in some way, shape, or form. You can even go back to child's pose if you prefer. Okay. I'm going to leave this as an opportunity to maybe pause the video um, for five or ten minutes just to breathe, just to enjoy your music, just to rest if you need it. But in our final relaxation, let's bring our mindset back to our beginner's um, setting. Without judgment, without expectation, and without the desire to change any one thing. Okay. When you feel ready, we can begin to wiggle the fingers and wiggle the toes again if we like. We could begin to rock a little bit side to side with the hips, knees, rolling through the shoulders, rocking the head side to side. But we'll create bigger and bigger movement until we're ready to rise up. And then we'll press up into a seated posture. It is comforting for us, any seated posture. As always, we'll root the hips down strong, we'll stack up the spine tall, we'll relax the shoulders, and relax the breath. And it's at this time at the end of our practice that I'd like to thank you for choosing to share your time and your practice with me here. And again, um, it is the light within me that honors and bows to the light within you. Namaste.